Hey guys, I want to show you something. So I was doing some out exercises with Bruce here and we're using various objects right now. So we're using like toys, bones, food, all kinds of stuff. Right here I have like a Kong stuffed full with some of his food um, that he was having. And do you see how he's no longer chewing on it, but he's still very much in possession of it. So even when the dog doesn't have it in his mouth, when we have resource guarding dogs, we're never gonna walk over and try to take that from a dog. Um, the closer he is to it, the more he is inclined to guard it. And when you reach in to take something of value from a resource guarding dog, that's when bites happen. This is especially common um, with children, with other animals, um, and also very often with adults that just sort of aren't thinking and just reaching out and trying to grab something. Um, so we want to use all of our safety protocols and all of our common sense. Resource guarding dogs like this, we would never allow them to have a valuable resource like this outside of the crate. So toys, food, and by toys I mean like a, like a nylabone type chew bone or something. Um, food, treats, the dog gets um, with permission in the crate with the crate door closed and latched, but never out in a situation like this. This is a training situation where I'm working with this dog. So this isn't how we're gonna operate in real life. Um, but I still wanna show you how we're going to get him to disengage from that safely, because even in real life, dogs sometimes get a hold of things. You know, We may drop something really close to the dog like this. We're not gonna reach down and grab it and try to snatch it back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the dog disengage from it and move off. To do that, we're gonna use our place command, or sorry, we're gonna use our out um, command to place. <clears throat> Bruce, out. Out. Place. Down. Good. So now that I've had the dog walk away from it, disengage, I have him safely on place. Now I can walk in, pick up the item, and put it away. But at no time would I have ever reached in to try to take something like that from him. And this is just like common sense and using our training to make sure we're always empowering ourselves to be in um, a very safe position um, and just to not create unnecessary conflict or problems with dogs.